interesting topic or interesting clip to play. Uh, courtesy of the Final Kid subreddit again, which is really interesting here. It features Rogan sitting down with Dave Smith and they speak about um, the comedy mothership. And I guess Dave asked something along the lines of like, has it been hard saying no to people who want to perform at your club? Because, you know, the comedy mothership has now turned into the place to be or the place to perform or since the place to be. It kind of, when I hear them talking about the comedy mothership, it sounds a lot like how DJs talk about Berghain. Because especially, you know, Bergen is kind of the pinnacle of club design. And it's obviously a good, it's kind of like one of the bigger, it's one of the best bigger clubs around in the world. that kind of could do the whole thing of booking really big A-list DJs. And also booking kind of really cool, quote unquote, underground people. And I feel like with Joe Rogan's um, comedy mothership, it's done the same job. With the ability to kind of have some of the best of the best appear there. And obviously some cool up becoming talent. So with that, you know, you'd imagine with Joe Rogan being the head honcho, he's now in a position where he's probably got way more people offering than slots. So how do you say no to people? But I found this clip really interesting because some people are suggesting, yeah, big up Uche for ten dollars. Appreciate you. I got a dip. I got plans, but awesome stream tonight as crowd of Batman for real, for real, and Shul's <laughs> mustache looks like it smells. Big up <laughs> you and the Gringo Poppies in chat. Yes, big up Uche. No problem. Thank you for hanging in there. I appreciate you. I appreciate you as always. Um, enjoy whatever else that you're going to do. My dear, my G, have safe travels and I'll see you again very soon and appreciate the $10 donation there, my G. Big up Uche once and for all and always, actually. Um, so let's play the clip here. Um, Rogan talking about saying no to people at the Comedy Mother Store. Comedy Mother Store. Comedy Mothership. It, it has been a problem, though, because there's, you know, a lot of people want to come. And some of them are just, you know... It, people are weird, like, the, that want a headline, and you know that they know. Like, you know that you're not really a headliner. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? There's... I have a theory... I have a theory that Rogan isn't Rogan doesn't like confrontation. That's my theory. I don't think he likes confrontation. Or no, I don't think Rogan likes to explain himself. That's the theory. No, no confrontation. Explain himself. So I feel like as much as he tries to be kind of matter of fact, say what I mean, mean what I say type of guy, he also doesn't like to explain himself or maybe he's met, hurt people's feelings so in this business that he's in now of owning a comedy store he's now having to turn people down and he just like why are we having this conversation you know what I mean he's like you know and i know you're not good enough oh you're not headliner to you you shouldn't be performing here that's the space that he's in but i guess because he's done people so many favors by having them come on his show i think you know what i was all thinking i wonder i wonder right if the podcast has contributed to this. Think about it this way. I wonder, right, if because Rogan is so hospitable and so free and so open with his platform and brings anybody on, whether you're like the, you know, the smallest of the small, you had a little viral clip somewhere, he, you know, there's a possibility you get on Rogan. Anyone and everyone's been on there from the highest celebrity to somebody you don't really know too often. I wonder, I wonder, right, if people see that he does that sort of thing on his podcast and have now sort of, you know, um, copy and pasted that onto how he would act or should act in terms of his comedy club. I wonder if that's, that's what's going into this. So a lot of comedians are saying, hey, you have random people on your flipping podcast. Why not have random people perform at your comedy club? It's no different. They're probably thinking that also. Maybe it goes into it. But this also feels like it could be a subtle, subtle, ever so subtle dig or reminder of someone like a Brendan. And it's funny because if you're Brendan, I feel like, maybe this is weird to say. If you're Brendan admitting that Brogan told you you're not funny enough and you need to step it up before you can perform, could be a bit of a win because it's, if everyone loves a comeback story. So if you're able to kind of say it and kind of take it on the chin and say, yeah, oh man, I'm, I'm really gutted. I tried to get, a, I tried to get, a, you know, a gig there, but Rogan said I'm not quite red there yet. So, you know, I'm going to put the work in, but it looks freaking amazing. I can't wait to finally 
get the position where I'm able to play there. It could be quite nice. It's quite, it must be, it, it's, it's a good challenge to have because it'll be the first time you'd imagine he's going to have to kind of prove himself in comedy because everything else he kind of got through default of being Rogan and Cannon's friends. And then, of course, partly because of his celebrity himself and the success of the podcast. So maybe along the way, his achievements were never really kind of... Uh, you, you, there's never a sense of satisfaction you'd imagine if you're Brendan and you had those kind of achievements. I would imagine. Because you feel like everybody's always kind of giving them to you. So maybe if Rogan says to you, hey, go out to the drawing board, get funnier, and then you can come play at my club. That's actually a good thing to kind of aim for. But in Brendan's speak, he probably didn't internalize it the greatest. But I feel like this could be a little bit of a slight dig at Brendan. And maybe an explanation as to why he hasn't performed at the comedy mothership just yet despite him being as close as he is with rogan and shit he's still not performed there it's very very odd most people are saying this um but clearly brent joe has definitely got a high threshold or f in terms of who he accepts and if you're not funny if you're not a particular level you're not going to form his club which i think in the long term will sue his club would certainly serve his club the best personally i think in the long term but you know what do I know when it comes to this stuff? What do I know when it comes to this stuff? <laughs>